Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. Do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. This is called Valid Phone Numbers, and it is a little bit off the beaten path. Not really data structures and algorithms, but good to know. Uh, a lot of dislikes. I don't a lot of dislikes on this site. It's free. So what's with the, you know, why is everyone disliking everything? Given a text file, file.txt that contains a list of phone numbers, one per line. Write a one-liner bash script to print all valid phone numbers. So bash uh, means command line um just command line command uh so we're we're gonna have a file.txt it's gonna have a bunch of phone numbers it might look like this so assume file.txt has the following content you know here's the phone numbers it might just one phone number for line um you may assume that the valid phone number must appear in one of the following two formats so it's either a parenthesis a uh, three numbers within parentheses a space and then three numbers dash four numbers, or three numbers dash four, three numbers dash four numbers. These are the only two formats it can be, or it doesn't work. Now what we wanna do is we want to write a one-liner to print only things that match these formats. So we would print out of these, see these? This matches the format because it's two dashes. This matches the format because it's three uh, three numbers in a parentheses, a space, and then the phone number. or and this one doesn't, so we only output uh, these two, right? This one doesn't get outputted. It would either need to have a uh, two dashes here, or it would need parentheses around these first three numbers. So regular expression will just help us match which numbers we want. Um, that's just what it is in programming, regex, regular expressions, look it up. But um, we can use this command line tool grep, uh, Grep is a command line utility for searching plain text data sets uh, for lines that match regu regular expressions. And there's a few of these. Grep is just a really common one. I, that's the one I use. I do like grep-r blah, 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 when I'm in terminal and stuff like that. Uh, there's a few other ones, but this is the one we're going to do. Um, this is how you do some pattern matching. Regular expressions have a bunch of rules. I would recommend look them up if you're not familiar. It takes about a day or two if you want to just learn them all. I don't mem I don't have everything memorized. I can I look them up, but I I did it in a while ago and I have a few of them down and I look up what I need to look up to do it. Um, so caret means at the beginning. Uh, dollar sign means the part. This part of it has to be at the end. Backslashes to ex escape. Um, special characters, a bunch of different stuff. You usually do zero through nine to match digits, or you could do slash D. We're using, we're going to use this dash P command for Perl because it'll make it a lot faster, uh, just because the regular expressions are easier in Perl. So what you do is if you were in terminal and you had this text file with the phone numbers and you wanted to match against these formats, you would type grep dash P for Perl. Um, and then you would do the regular expression so you have the string for the regular expression first thing we want to do is the caret for this means this has to come at the beginning and you put parentheses to like algebra to show that within these parentheses is what has to come at the beginning of the regular expression so whatever's in here has to become at the beginning um so what do we want we want either three numbers in parentheses or three numbers not in parentheses and then a dash so we're going to do the dash one first so three numbers this means digit, backslash D, digit, and then three of them have to come, and then a dash, or the this upper line means or, we want these parentheses are ma actual matching now. These aren't like algebra container parentheses, so we need to backslash because they're special characters. Um, we want digit another, we want three digits in parentheses, Special character parentheses, so we need backslash. See the difference? Backslashes before the parentheses. And then the outer ones that are just containers here don't need the backslashes. Um, or we want three digits within parentheses right here. This or these. This or this. So three digits in parentheses and then a space. Those are, That's the beginning of it. Then after that, we just need three digits dash four digits and then this comes at the end so you put the dollar sign and that is the whole regular expression right there now you just need to specify the file name so in this case it's file.txt so that that would be the command you enter there you go success 
Um, this this argument requires you to put dash capital P. Not all computers or operating systems have uh, support for that apparently. And here's some other tools I saw. Uh, I've never used these SCD AWK. Uh, I use grep, but um, here's without dash P it looks like. So uh, right here, it's just a lot longer as you could see. I could have typed this out, but um, might've taken a lot longer with all these backslashes, zero through nine instead of dash D. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the only difference is just a million backslashes. So there you go. Maybe look into that. Look up regular expressions if you're unfamiliar. Let me know what you guys think. I'm not a regex whiz. I don't think it's that important. If I want to look up phone number or email matching, I just look up regex email match on Google and then I paste it into my JavaScript code or whatever. So let me know if you do do advanced regex uh, and if you want to, you know, maybe do a video chat with me. I'll put that on my channel or something. That sounds cool to me. Teach, do a lesson with me or something. I'd like to talk to a regex whiz. I used to know one kid in college that was pretty good, but I've never met any like uh, someone that's like super obsessed with them. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Check out my Patreon. I'm doing the premium leak codes on there. going to post one right after this. So thanks and see you guys in 